the rapper T.I. just hit the front page of controversy when he admitted that he accompanies his 18-year-old daughter to the doctor every year for a so-called hymen check. Here's some background information. The hymen check is practiced in many impoverished countries as a way to see if a woman is a virgin. It's done for cultural and economic reasons. A lot of impoverished countries are behind on gender equality and equate the value of a woman to her sexual status. It's similar to the neckbeard ideology in that they share the belief that a woman is only worth anything if she's a virgin. Once she's been so-called deflowered, her value rapidly plummets. The belief is that the more people she has sexual relations with, the less human she becomes. Because of this, some families are incentivized to keep their daughter a virgin as long as possible. If a culture is going to value female virginity, then they're also going to find ways to measure virginity. Or to put it another way, people, often men, will devise a way to see if someone is a virgin. Enter the hymen check, commonly referred to as either the hymen test or virginity test. I'm going to be using all three of them interchangeably in this video. The hymen is a piece of tissue that either surrounds or partially covers the vaginal opening. It's got very few nerve endings and blood vessels. Because of this, it's extremely hard for anybody's hymen to bleed. The misconception behind the hymen is that it supposedly creates pain the first time someone has sex. So whoever she's bonded to can be sure that any offspring she produces will be his. This completely falls apart when you take into account that monogamy only became a practice less than 20,000 years ago, and humans, along with their vaginas, have been around for at least 2 million years. So the hymen check is a procedure carried out by doctors or members of the community to see if a woman's hymen is broken. Who checks the hymen is usually determined by how wealthy the present society is. If it's intact, she's deemed to still be a virgin. But if the hymen is broken, then she's deemed to have lost her purity, which usually leads to her being casted out from her community. It's at this point that I should mention that the phrase breaking the hymen isn't literal. The hymen isn't a twig that snaps the first time something penile shaped presses against it. The true purpose of the hymen isn't to ward off sex or to test for virginity, but to protect the infant vagina from urine and feces. Because before puberty, the vagina is very sensitive to irritants. So, is the hymen check an accurate method to test for virginity? No. The hymen test doesn't mean anything. And unfortunately for women all over the world, many of whom are children, this misconception has done a whole lot of harm. The next part of this video is going to be broken up into three parts. False positives, where a hymen can break without any sexual activities. False negatives, where the hymen can be kept intact despite a woman having previously had sex. And at the end, I'll detail how lives have been destroyed by the hymen test. Hymen tests are problematic because they can break without anything actually penetrating a woman's vagina. Like I just mentioned, the function of the hymen is to protect adolescent vaginas from infection. Once puberty kicks in, the hymen becomes obsolete and changes form, becoming flexible so painless sex can occur. 52% of women who have previously had sexual intercourse still have intact hymens. I can literally just end the section right here because that statistic alone is enough to make the hymen test unreliable. But let's pretend for a minute that the hymen can be used to determine if someone's a virgin. The United States judicial system deems that information gained from polygraphs are inadmissible in a court of law because they only have a success rate of 70 to 90%. In other words, 10 to 30% of the times police give someone the polygraph test to see if they're lying, it should return the incorrect answer. If our justice system realizes that a 10 to 30% margin of error is too high for the information to be used to decide the fate of entire lives, then why do some societies still use a hymen test, test with only 50% accuracy, to decide the lives of women? And that's not an exaggeration. People's entire lives have changed and even ended because of their hymen. That's this next section right here. There are so many stories where a community exiled or performed an honor killing on a woman because of her alleged sexual history. Like this one right here, where a newlywed bride was killed because she had a loose hymen. Because of these dangers, there are young women all over the world who are terrified of accidentally tearing their hymens. 
from neglecting to participate in physical activities like sports to neglecting to use tampons. The problem is systemic. The Egyptian government performed virginity tests on detained women following the 2011 revolution. Indonesia's military requires their recruits to go through a virginity test. There is even an Indonesian high school that requires all female teens to undergo a virginity test before they are allowed to attend. The UK used virginity tests to determine which woman would be allowed to immigrate into their country, though that policy has thankfully been removed. The United Nations and World Health Organization said in 2018 that virginity testing is painful, traumatic, and constitutes as violence against women. It's been described as being similar to torture, yet despite this, virginity testing is still a widespread problem in both developing and developed countries. It doesn't just happen in the Middle East, it also happens in the United States. In a 2016 survey on OBGYNs, 10% of them had been asked to perform a virginity test, and of those surveyed, 3.5% of them had done it. It's a widespread problem that's impacting everyone. So knowing all of this, what can you do to help? As always, spread the information. Share this video with your friends and family. Drop a link to this video the next time someone starts talking about the hymen or virginity testing. The hymen's purpose is to protect the vagina from infection, not to ensure virginity. Virginity tests are painful and humiliating, and the best way to stop the systemic torture of women worldwide is through education.